During October of 2012, a 100-acre tract of average quality mixed hardwood timber with 6,000 board feet per acre was harvested for veneer logs, saw logs, scrag logs for pallet stock, and clean chips for pulp. The harvest was part of a long-term research and demonstration project to determine the weight of chips and other products produced in comparison to traditional timber harvesting using a chainsaw. The outcome of this project should provide the timber industry with a better understanding of the values, weights, and economic returns generated by this type of harvest in the central hardwood forest. In addition, restoration practices will be evaluated, as both forest managers and researchers need a more thorough understanding of what happens to a harvest site following biomass harvesting where small diameter material is recovered from harvested trees for use as paper pulp, fuel, or other fiber products. To set up the study, the tract was divided into 12 randomly selected parcels. Three parcels served as controls where no harvesting occurred. Three were clear-cut with all material down to 4 inch diameter at breast height removed. Three more were clear-cut while leaving 20 to 30 percent of the tops from trees greater than 13 inches diameter left on site. The three remaining units demonstrated traditional clear-cutting, single tree selection, and shelter wood harvesting. Most timber harvesting in the central Midwest is done manually with chainsaws and cable skidders. This harvest was primarily accomplished with a mechanized system using a tiger cat feller buncher and grapple skidders. Chainsaws were only used when the use of the harvester was impractical. Nearly all sound woody material in excess of 4 inches in diameter was harvested. Larger diameter logs were cut for sawing or veneering depending on quality, size, and species. Smaller stems and limbs were debarked and used to produce clean chips for pulp. The site is enrolled in the Indiana Classified Forest and Wildland Program and is certified sustainable by the Forest Stewardship Council. Trees up to about 20 inches in diameter at breast height were felled and piled with a feller buncher or timber harvester. This track machine is equipped with an articulated head with a grapple and cutter head. Trees down to about 4 inches in diameter are removed, leaving a relatively clear site for natural reproduction to develop or for tree planting. The feller buncher also severs larger butt logs from treetops. Logs are delimbed. Large bushy tops, which are common in white oak, are cut into single stems so transportation to the landing and debarking and chipping are possible. Two or more grapple skidders are required to keep pace with the timber harvester. The skidder is stacking smaller trees on top of saw logs so a full load can be transported to the landing. The exposed mineral soil should allow for quality regeneration of tree species like yellow poplar. Within one growing season, the site will be covered with a combination of herbaceous and young woody plants that will set the process of forest regeneration in motion. All cut trees and tops are transported to the landing by the two skidders. The landing consists of two excavator type machines with grapple heads, two cutoff saws, a debarker, chipper, and bands to receive chips. The delimbing saw is used to trim the small top branches from the trees. These branches have too much bark to be used for clean pulp chips, but could be used for boiler fuel. Smaller diameter trees and limbs are fed into a chain flail debarker. The small limbs and shredded bark are left on site when producing clean pulp chips. The operation seen here shows the grapple skitter delivering trees and the two loaders processing and segregating the products into logs and chips. Note that all equipment operators are protected by the reinforced cabs on each machine. Logs are cut to length on the circular cutoff saw. 
Tops are trimmed and delimbed and passed through the chain flail debarker and then into the chipper. The harvested area viewed in late winter of 2013 shows the immediate aftermath of harvesting. In the first growing season after harvest 2013, signs of plant regeneration are obvious and a rapid recovery is underway. By the summer of 2015, the harvest area is quickly being covered by a dense growth of forbs, shrubs, tree seedlings, and sprouts. This rapid and dense regrowth is providing food and cover for wildlife including bird species that need brushy habitat, like the yellow-breasted chat. Purdue Forestry and Natural Resources Extension has developed a woody biomass calculator that landowners, foresters, and wood products harvesters and managers may use to estimate the volume and value of wood in several different product groups, including woody biomass. Follow this link to access the calculator.